Hello world, Shelly here, and today I just want to do some little get ready with me, put on some makeup, wish y'all happy Hanukkah, happy Christmas, almost Christmas, all the winter holidays, whatever you celebrate, I hope you are doing it in a relaxing, joyful, safe way, that you're having a good time, that the holiday stress is not being stressful, that the holidays are being good to you. So, let's put some makeup on. I am currently testing out the new Revlon Illuminance Foundation. You'll see this one pop up on the channel in a couple of weeks, so I gotta do the rest of my face. And I figured, might as well hang out and do it with y'all. You're getting another filmed on the same day I'm gonna post it. I think I'm gonna post it tonight. I'm saying this on Wednesday, so... <laughs> That is the plan right now. I got the December Ipsy box and you may or may not know I love when it has makeup in it. I love when it has eyeshadow in it Which is the primary reason I was like, oh, I'm gonna sit down and film it with you guys So that is our plan if you're not familiar with Ipsy. Oh where you been you should be you should be it's a monthly subscription This bag is so I soft. This on the web. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not talking. To, I'm not talking to you <sighs> monthly subscription. This bag is so soft. So, I mean, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell through the camera. Can you tell how soft this is? Oh my goodness gracious. I want to pet it on my face, but I just put my foundation on, so I'm not gonna do that. But you subscribe. They've got a couple different levels. The Glam Bag, the Glam Bag Plus. They've got a version that amps up your Glam Bag Plus every quarter if you are so inclined. I've got some stuff. Now, I do get the Ipsy selection of stuff. I don't get all of the stuff, but I get some of the stuff sent to me monthly in PR. Thank you, Ipsy, for sending me the subscription box. I paid for Ipsy for many, many years. The only reason I canceled it is because when I canceled all of my makeup subscriptions, it made up enough money for me to buy my Jeep Wrangler. So. <laughs> Priorities y'all priorities, but I still get to enjoy Ipsy because they send it to me and I appreciate it and I love it So yay, I'm obsessed with the bags. They <laughs> don't ever stop doing these bags Ipsy This is this is how you keep me. This is, I'm obsessed. I love bags. I organize things like a Weird organizing freak is my middle name basically. Let's put some makeup on so let me tell you about a couple of the things in my glam bag that I'm not going to put on today But I'm excited to try from Kat Berkey brand. I'm not familiar with but their slogan is powered by nutritional science and that perks my ears up. I love science Vitamin C intensive face cream. Has anyone tried this before? Are you familiar with this brand? I think I said Kate Kat. What did I say? I don't know what I said that is intriguing to me. Let's see, I'm gonna wear this. I got, they sent a CC cream in the Ipsy box, which you know what that means. I'm gonna have to review it. So I'll do a whole video review of this one. This is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Moisture CC Cream. I think I saw the word replenishing on there as well. Uh, they are speaking my language with all of these words. I did, Replenishing Moisture CC Cream, 10 in one complete correction leave-in hold on now CC cream leave-in is this for hair hold on <laughs> it is for hair I won't be doing a full review on my face I will be using it on my hair I feel like I've used something else from this brand before which is where it hit me and I was like oh wait hair what I can't remember. I'll have to look. No, Ziva, you cannot fit on this messy, messy vanity. You stay back there. If you want to get on camera, you come come behind. Come behind. Ziva's here, but you can't see her because she's right underneath the lens right now. I will check that out and report back. We have a Pink Lips Soft Matte Primer. I'm not into matte primers. I prefer blurring slash dewy primers. This one does claim to have some blurring, but the word matte scares me. Uh, I'm dry dehydrated constantly. So now this one looks interesting from, it is the, from, uh, is it Bird, New York? I need Sherlock. Sherlock, you must help me. No, Byro, New York. 
This is the Rose Tea Eye Cream Tea Time for depuffing. You know I could always use some depuffing in my life. All right, those are the things that I'm not going to wear. The things I am going to wear today. <sighs> oh, that's not it. Grab the total wrong thing. I'm losing everything. I claim to be organized. I'm only organized when I'm not a hot mess. <laughs> so, check this out. This is so pretty. Ciate London. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? <gasps> Look how pretty this is. There's a few mattes. It's mostly shimmers. And goodness gracious, I'm excited. We also have from Tarte Shadow and Liner, the Quick Stick. And this to me looks like an instant awesome, like out the door neutral. This is the Golden Pink Luster and black. It's like a double-sided pencil type of a situation. And there's our dark pencil liner side. And here is our shadow stick side. So we're going to use that today. I've also got Milk. Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. This claims length, volume, and lift. If it can pull off all of those things, like, I'll be very happy. Let's see what kind of, uh, ooh, I like this kind of brush. It's the, like, fluffy, fluffy, fluff kind. All right, so we're going to try that today. I haven't decided yet. We have from Lottie London the Wing Woman liner, and I feel like I bought this at some point. I'm not sure if I'm feeling a wing. I think I'm gonna keep everything kind of light today, but it was in my bag, so I'm calling it out in case you're interested in it. All right, let's get some makeup on this face, but not before a caffeine break. Mm. The Zero Sugar, mmm, it is, I'm a Diet Dr. Pepper fan anyway, but the Zero Sugar is so much better. And I loved the original diet, so uh, yeah. I'm using my busted old Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer. This thing lives on my vanity just like this. It does. I don't even know where the lid is anymore. It's gone, but it just sits there and it lives on the vanity. Every time I apply bronzer, my little things that are hanging back here shake and it's a little glass ornament that my mom gave me years and years and years ago and it shakes against the metal rack and I hear it and I'm like how am I shaking so much that I shake a metal rack over there I don't know I don't know if you could hear that on camera but every time I do this I think how am I sh there it is like how am I shaking so much that I'm shaking the whole room. Like that thing is like three feet behind me. It's not even right there. Anyway, so how are your holidays going here? It's pretty simple because I'm staying home this year, which is a good thing because I see that Chicago is supposed to be getting a bit of a blizzard in the next couple days. So I'm glad I'm not traveling in that. We are actually gonna have here in Virginia some ice situation going on and all things I would not want to deal with at all. So I'm staying home. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona face palette here. I love this shade of blush. I will say, I've been getting back into my Euphoria, the uh, blush oil. I think it's upside down, sorry, upside down. This stuff is so good and cute and easy and like youthful looking. It really makes me happy. But I'm gonna do just a little bit more makeup than that today. So I like it on the days when, you know, I'm just like BB cream, a little bit of blush, rock and roll out the door kind of a thing. I really like this blush, one for the tone, cause I'm pretty sure this will work on a lot of different skin tones. But I also like that you can kind of control pretty easily whether you're going ham with it or you just want a light dusting. I'm kind of in the middle 
middle range today, but it's just really easy. And that's why I avoided blush for a long time. I didn't like it because I didn't know how to make myself not look like a clown. And this is easy not to look like a clown. Then you've got this cream highlight base and the highlight. I was worried that the highlight was gonna be too gold toned because I really prefer a silver highlight, but it's not. It's not silver, but it's also not too warm toned. So I like to just put a little bit of that base as kind of like where I want the main highlight to be. And then I will go in with the highlight and just kind of blurry, blurry, blurry. I know highlight isn't on trend like this anymore. I don't care because it makes me happy. And that's all that matters. Seriously, y'all. All right, highlight done. We need primer, MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Yes, I cut all my nails off. One of my, I shouldn't lie, I picked all my nails off because stress, but I am happy to report I am on winter break from work now so I can focus on this work, which is my favorite work, my YouTube work, and my side businesses, which I really want to make my full businesses. What do you say if they're not on the side? They're in the middle? My... I don't know what, where, what's the opposite of on the side? All the full-timeness, that's what I want. I want to do all of this full-time. It's gonna take me a while, guys. It's gonna take me a little while, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Yeah, so I'm on winter break now for the next, a eh, little less than a month. Eh, three weeks, three and a half weeks. Mm. And that makes me happy. Oh, I have to decide what I'm going to do now on uh, my eyeballs. Um, so I think I'm actually going to start with this Tarte stick. And we're going to go eyelids and we're just going to start. Oh, it's darker than I thought. I'm going to start with this as a base. And I have a feeling... Oh, this is totally gonna work as like an out the door. Take your bronzer in the crease, take this on the rest of the lid, and you are like, done. Now, I wanna see if it's got the kind of formula you can kinda smudge in with your finger and not have to even deal with brushes. Oh yes, oh yes. Because that's what I need in a grab and go. And the fact that it's got a liner on the other side, that's great for travel. Like, I'm just shearing this out a little bit because I want to do, I want to get rid of the eye bugs and I want to use it as a base. All right. That could look really nice with some bronzer in the crease and just rock and roll. I'm digging that. I really am digging that. That is good stuff. Let's dig into this Ciate London palette. So I think what I'm going to do is this looks like a matte, this brownish shade. I think I'm going to go in the crease with that one. I might lighten it up with this top corner, which I think is also a matte. And I'm really intrigued by this mauve looking color right here. And either the one underneath it or this glitter looks really nice. E let's, let's just start with the crease. I'm actually going to start with that lighter top corner shade, that top corner matte. And just go in a little bit and get like a little transition going just so it's got a little something to blend into when I go in with the darker shade in my crease. I'm using my beloved, cannot live without it, Wayne Goss number three. I said I wasn't going to do a full face today, but sometimes this just happens. 
The reason I was not going to do a full face is because I'm starving and I want to go get lunch. But <clears throat> here we are. All right, let's grab... Oh, I'm debating. I'm going to go with my Sigma E25. There is a BK Beauty brush. What is the number of it? The Hot Angie Hot and Flashy 501 is becoming a competitor for my beloved Sigma E25 in my crease. But I need something a little smaller because I'm not quite sure how dark this shade is going to be and I don't want to go too far with it if it's darker than I thought. Oh, it's not darker than I thought. It's actually quite pretty. It's almost a red undertone brown, which I love a red undertone brown. Because somehow you can still make them look cool. Like, they're almost like the neutral version of a brown. They don't go too warm. They can work with warm or cool colors around them. The red can just kind of play either way. Oh, I really like that color. That is, that is a pretty color. Digging it, digging it. So what are you guys doing for the holidays? I hope if you travel, you are not going to have to deal with any of the messy weather that is everywhere, basically, because the East has ice coming and sleet and nastiness. And the Midwest has all of the snow happening. And I don't even know what's happening in the West. All I know is that it's going to be really cold. Colder than it's supposed to be. We're supposed to still be in the 40s here. I'm in Virginia. And uh, we're going to be like in the 20s. And I hate winter. So not so happy with the forecast. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's see. What brush do I want now? Alright. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy uh, Wow, A505 flat brush. I'm going to go in with... I can't. I have to do that mauve. That pinky mauve shimmer is just calling my name. Rightfully so. It is like... Of course this is the color it is, because of course it is. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. This brush is awesome for shimmers, especially the kind that... You know how sometimes a shimmer is beautiful, but it really doesn't work very well unless you apply it with a fingertip? This brush can work as your fingertip. Like, it's the closest to using a fingertip as I've ever found in a brush. Because sometimes you don't want to use your fingertip. Like, when my nails are long, it's actually a hot mess to try to use my fingertips on my eyeshadow because it's just not, doesn't work very well. So I'm really liking this brush. All right, I'm going to use that glitter as a topper. But I need something for my inner corner, and I'm debating. I think I'm going to go in with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, yeah, mmm, yeah. No, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. It's kind of similar, but a little more pinky. And a little bit lighter. Well, a little peachier as well, I think. Those two shades are pretty close to each other. Alright. Since my nails are short, I am going to use my fingertip into that glitter topper. Oh, that is feels beautiful. I'm just going to go in the center. Oh, I'm going to go everywhere. <laughs> I'm out of control with the glitter, you guys. I can't handle it. It's so pretty. Oh, goodness. It is dripping onto my face, but I don't care if I have glitter everywhere. I'm that, I'm that girl. Yeah, that's me. Just dipping back in, putting the glitter all over. Glitter everywhere. Glitter hair, don't care. Did I put that too high? I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. It's all good. All right, next brush. We are using, this is another Angie Hot and Flashy 502. I'm going to take the dark shade in the bottom corner. It looks like it's got a little purple to it. And I'm going to take this 
in my outer corner and a little bit into the crease just to give a little definition and I kind of focus on the hood like the heaviest part of my hood of my outer lid to give it darkness because darkness will make it recede from sight whereas light colors brightness glitter shimmer will make it come forward so we want that heaviness to recede and disappear rather than be the focal point. We want the focal point to be where I put all that glitter. <laughs> Ooh, I like that shade too. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but you know, what else is new? Nothing too alarming, nothing major. I need a little bit on the spot that never holds color. Thank you, eyeballs. You will eternally drive me batty. Ah, such is life. I like it. I like it, Picasso. I'm going to take that same glitter on my pinky, do a little bit of inner corner action here. Do I want any on my lower lash line? That is the question. That is the question. What is the answer? I don't know. Maybe this is an alter ego brush. Number 11. I'm going to take a tiny, like when I say tiny, boop. That's it. Tiny bit of that brown, that red undertone brown under my lower lash line. Just a boop. That's it. We're not going for major color. Really, I just like having a little bit on my lower lash line because I feel like it helps disguise that one crease of my lower lash under eye that... <clears throat> Tends to be the most obvious looking. I need another little boop. Just a little boop. And I kind of use my lower lash eyeshadow to mask those lines right near the lash line. At least that's what I think I'm doing. <laughs> I'm probably not masking anything. I think I just got glitter in my eye. I feel it. I feel the glitter happening. This eyeshadow palette is super cute. What was it called? The Velvet Palette. It's called the Velvet Palette. And I'm going to say big thumbs up. It's also vegan and cruelty free, which you know makes me happy. I am digging this eyeshadow. I'm enjoying this eyeshadow. I'm brushing away fallout. All right, it wiped away fine. I mean, the glitter didn't, but the fallout did. The fallout from the shadow itself. Everyone asks what this brush is. I don't even know. Luxie, oh, Sherlock. It is the Luxie Pro Precision Tapered number 640. All I know is it's too soft in terms of like being way too flexible to like apply anything else. It's too soft to put blush on. It's too, it's not, it's too soft to put highlight on, but it's perfect for removing fallout. So I actually have two of these that I use as my fallout brushes. I don't know, whatever. All right, so I need, should we try the pencil side of this as waterline? Huh, maybe. All right, well, why not, right? We're here, let's do it. It applies very easily, nice and creamy. So I'd say good for waterline in terms of not having to manipulate your eyes a whole lot. The question will be, does it have enough staying power to hang out in the waterline? I don't know, we'll find out. Check back when I do the foundation review for <laughs> the foundation I'm wearing because then you'll get to see all day long how it performs. It looks really nice. It applied very easily. Let's curl these lashes. So let's talk a minute about brow products. I've been trying out the NYX Lash, not Lash, Brow Glue, and it's okay, but I like the, so there's the 
Ziva, you, there's no room for you this way. You cannot come this way. You cannot. Oh, you guys. <sighs> this is my life. I know. I know, Ziva. I, I know. Aren't you going to show them your butt? That, that's, that's flattering. It's very flattering. You're so, you're so nice. You're so nice. She is purring like a maniac. What does she, th she thinks she's a baby. When I first met Ziva, let's, let's tell a cat story, shall we? I had three cats at one time, Maverick, Goose, and Merlin. You guys have seen Merlin. Merlin has been here since, uh, Merlin passed away in 2020, but since I had this channel, Merlin's been on it before. And um, Maverick and Goose passed away, and Merlin had been with Maverick and Goose since he was five weeks old, so he was devastated. And, but at that time he was like 10, so I didn't want to get another super youngster. I, I was going to get an older cat. I didn't want to get a kitten. And I'm like the cat whisperer, you all. Like, cats love me. So I go into Cat's Cradle in Harrisonburg, the local rescue and little no-kill shelter. And uh, I walk into the cat room and I go to pet some cats. And they hissed at me. They hissed at me. Like, What? So, uh, the guy looked at me like, yeah, right, cat whisperer. <laughs> and he's like, well, if you want to go in the kitten room, you can go check them out. So I go in the kitten room. I did not want a kitten. And all the kittens were sleeping, and none of them got up to come see me. So I sat down in the middle of the floor waiting for kittens to come. Nobody got up, except this one. And she climbed up on my shoulder exactly like she's doing right now. And I thought, oh, she chose me. Like, I thought it was, like, the most amazing moment. And, oh, we bonded. And, oh, you're so beautiful. And what a good kitty you are. You're a good Ziva baby. You're a good Ziva baby. And uh, her name was Olive when she came from the, from the shelter. And so I took her home, right? Come to find out that, uh, yeah, she loves everyone. I, I had the cat sitter come by to meet her before I had gone on a trip. And what did she do? She climbed right on the cat sitter, just exactly like she did on me. Like, no, she didn't claim me. She loves everyone. This cat loves everyone. Yeah. So, that's your Ziva story for the day. She thinks she's a baby still. She is not. She is 12 pounds. She is a giant. I think she's nine years old now. Are you nine? Are you nine? I can't remember. I have to look at my calendar. Are you nine? Don't, don't put your face in my mouth. That's disgusting. I have to let you get done. You gotta go. Thank you. Thank you, Ziva baby. Where were we? Nick's brow glue. I like it because it's quick, you know, because all you got to do is take the little brush and go through your brows. It's not as strong as the Elf Brow Lift or the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, brow freeze, is that what it's called? I can't remember, but I usually prefer the e.l.f. brow lift because it's almost identical to the ABH product, which I thought was my holy grail. Even the ingredients are the same, but it's much cheaper. So you know me and a good deal. Are my brows actually cooperating? What is happening? I should go play the lottery. I say that, but I never do. All right. I need some mascara. Let's try this milk makeup. They claim, what do they say? Lift and volume and length. Tall order, you guys. Tall order. I gotta get this sticker out of my way. This sticker's in my way. All right. Ooh, this feels really strangely tiny. Okay, let's see. Oh, I do like what it's doing initially, which is my favorite thing where you get a good amount of like bulk at the root of the lash at the very, very base, but then the lash hairs are all wispy and defined and separate. So it looks like you've got a million different lashes, even if you don't. Ooh, that is a fluffy. Can you guys see? That's one coat, and that is like fluff. 
I do kind of wish that I put some more liner on. Maybe that I did a wing. Nah, wing's too much pressure. Too much pressure. We are having a chill day. It is day three of my holiday break. And we are chill. We are chilling like a villain. That is all. I like this whole makeup look right now. I'm pleased. I like this mascara. I It's been a minute since I have used a higher-end mascara that I've thought about purchasing, but I'm thinking about purchasing it right now. I really like how that looks. It's very fluffy. I like fluffy. Fluffy is good. But I still, I almost always forget to link this. My lower lash line mascara is always and forever will be the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge. Because it is literally the only mascara that does not smudge on my lower lash line. Because my lashes are long on my lower end here. And... When I look down, they touch my face. And every other mascara of life leaves shadows of where the mascara touched my face. This one does not. And so, almost every day of my life that I am wearing mascara on the lower lash line, it's this. Even when I forget to link it down below, I went a bit heavier with that than I intended to, but that seems to be, I can't, oh, I just, oh, I just felt my mascara touch my face. Oh, good, it didn't smear. I needed to reach a Q-tip because I like to try to get any excess off the underside and I just swirl it under the underside of my lashes and get any extra off of there, just in case we don't want it going all over the place. All right. Yeah. What am I going to do for my lips? I don't know. I Am I going to just lazy out again and use my beloved Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Matte? Yes, yes, I am. I am such a lip gloss girl. Ugh. Now, don't get me wrong, I've been loving lipstick lately, but ah, lip gloss is so much easier. This is actually a lip mask, like a sleeping mask. I probably should have put a little color in with it. Ooh, what is this? ColourPop. Something. Fresh Kiss. Glossy lip stain. Do I want a little of that? This is how I make my decisions. Very randomly. All right, yeah, that, that works. Mm. I don't remember what I was saying just now, but I am pretty pleased at how this all turned out. Bravo, Siate London. I'm digging your velvet palette. I'm all right with that. All right, there you have it. That's my makeup for the day. I should take this headband off and fix my mess of a mop of my hair, which is fading. And now I'm gonna have to decide what to do next. I don't know, what should I do next? I was thinking about doing pink or red again. I don't know, I don't know, what do you think? Let me know down below. There's the final look. Mm. Mm-hmm. Time to go get a sandwich. I hope all of you are having an awesome holiday season. I hope you are spending time with whoever it is you want most to spend time with, whether that's yourself, loved ones, spouse, family, kids, whoever. I hope you get to see 
all of the beautiful people that you want to see this holiday season. And I hope you all have an awesome, 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 awesome Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is that you are celebrating. I'm not going anywhere. You're still going to see me. I just want to get all these good wishes out because the video that we'll post for Friday was already filmed, foundation review. And so I don't say Merry Christmas or anything like that in that video because it was filmed a couple weeks ago. So I'm saying it now. So here's your Merry Christmas. Your Merry, Happy, Happy, Merry, Happy, all the Merry, Happy things. I appreciate you guys. I enjoy my time on YouTube with you all so much. Cannot even, cannot even describe. Videos I've got coming, I'm going to do next week a, <clears throat> pardon me, a most worn foundations. Please don't scratch my chairs, Eva. Most worn foundations of 2022. I'll get some favorites up, some best ofs of the year. Uh, post some stuff like that. I got a new Yensa foundation to review. I've got a bunch of stuff coming, so keep keep an eye out. It is all coming. Have an awesome holiday weekends. And those of you that celebrate Christmas this weekend, have an awesome Christmas. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. I'm not going anywhere. You'll still see all my videos. We're still still going to be here. But I just wanted to say it all. I wanted to say it all so you all hear it. Happy Merry. I hope you all have an awesome holiday. And uh, there you have it. Another Get Ready With Me. Some more geeking out with makeup. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.